Yo, yo, it has been a minute since I've covered One Punch Man, but One Piece is on break this week, and the recent chapters of One Punch Man have been fire, so let's get into it. So chapter 201 starts with Grandmaster Flash and Super Sonic going up against Empty Void. And if you don't know, Empty Void is Blast Homie who got zombified by God. And we really need to find another name for this God dude, because every single being this man touches turns into a goddamn monster. I'm gonna start calling on this dude Saiyan. Anyway, we find out that the other ninjas Empty Void sucked the soul out of didn't actually get sucked dry, and Flash and Sonic were just under Genjutsu. So now we got Sonic and Flash going up against Itachi out here. Oh, and by the way, Empty Void is also a goddamn universe eater. Imagine getting head from somebody with an entire universe in their throat. Like, dude got some crazy black hole suction powers on him. Like, okay, pause, because that is a whole ass dude, but also, like, come on now, am I lying? We also find out that Grandmaster Flash is low-key valid, cause I'm not gonna lie, he still got worked by Void, but look, he kinda went stupid on him before he got shut down. And speaking of getting shut down, under the Genjutsu, Flash sees Sonic as a kid cause they was homies at the Hidden Leaf Village or whatever the hell, and in this Genjutsu, this god, or as I like to call him Satan, tries to get Flash to team up with him. My question is, why did bro have to assume this gross, grotesque form in order to say that? And I wanna go over this real quick cause I feel like some people might relate to this. I have tripophobia, and I don't know if anyone else does, but the fact that one wants to make every single villain trigger my scared of whole disease does not make me happy. Anyway, in chapter 202, Sonic interrupts the Genjutsu and says, hey, stop messing with my friend, and then chops Void's arm in half. And low key, I like Sonic a lot, bro. I don't know why, he kinda just goofy for no reason, and he has enormous balls. Well, he had some big balls before Saitama decided to eviscerate them. Moving away from that, we find out that Sonic was given a high level monster cell so he could level up and gain some strength. But Sonic being kind of the goat decided, nah, I'ma just get stronger by myself to beat Saitama. Which is kind of fire, cause to be honest, Sonic really never felt like a villain to me. He's more of an anti-hero with personality problems. I am telling y'all, do not let this man get psychiatric help. He will be a demon. Speaking of demon, at the end of chapter 202, Blast comes in out of nowhere and RKO's Void into the dirt. And I really want to know how strong this dude actually is, cause low key bro, Saitama is probably still stronger, but I'm convinced this dude is the closest we've seen to Saitama easily. Also, look at this panel bro, Blast for real came in like the Undertaker, that is hard as hell. But hey, that is it for this video, kind of a short one cause these chapters are also kind of short, but if you like the video feel free to subscribe because I do want to start covering One Punch again and I will be on top of the anime when it comes out. If it comes out. Anyway, like the vid, so appreciate y'all. Deuces.